section 14 now. Okay. Is CH3 NH2 an acid or a base? This is a great question that we have to break down, really. Um, I mean, unless you saw the answer already. Is CH3, I do wish that was a little bit lower, but no worries. The point here is to explain why the answer is correct. That way you actually understand it. An acid or a base, okay? So this actually, uh, for this one, I like to usually draw out the actual uh, molecular compound. Um, so we have C, well, kind of just looks like this actually. Okay. Um, but I feel like for this one, it actually be a lot better to understand if we drew the Lewis dot diagram as well. So we have C, okay. We have N, and we have a lot of H's in the middle, okay. And I did double check. Uh, we should have the exact amount of electrons needed, but um, just to double check that, we have four here. Nitrogen gives five. Uh, this each hydrogen gives one. So four plus three seven plus two is nine plus five. Total should be fourteen electrons. Okay. So. How many do we have here? We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So this checks out for Lewis dot diagram. So now the definition of a um, Bronsted Lowry base is that it has, just to make sure, sorry, my eyes are itchy. It has, um, a place to accept like it has a uh, lone pairs actually which funny enough is exactly what nitrogen has a big lone pair just right there the reason why it's you defined as having lone pairs is because what happens is that if there is a hydrogen proton wondering about okay it could actually attach to this lone pair in this nitrogen in a cell in a way is receiving a proton so then what we get actually when it's all said and done and because that H because this thing used to be neutral right and that proton brought its plus charge we get this okay and what this is CH3 NH3 plus this right here so because it can receive an acid, right? I mean, receive a proton. That, by definition, makes it a Bronsted-Lowry base. Because, you know, once again, it's getting this hydrogen and it's attaching to that lone pair. Okay? So see how we did. So, exactly, upon reacting with water, so they actually provide like a actual uh, compound that does have extra hydrogens for you to attach. So, um, exactly, it shows that CH3 NH2, it does act as a positive Lowry base because it's accepting the proton, which it can because it has a lone pair. Now, with this, just as a quick disclaimer, you're probably wondering, uh, but it has all these um, other hydrogens, like on the carbon side, why doesn't it give that away? Typically, you would notice that the hydrogen being given away is usually one attached to a um, hydrogen bond, okay? So these two hydrogens, exactly, are attached to nitrogen through a hydrogen bond because hydrogen bonds are between O, N, and F, okay? Those are the hydrogen bonds. But the thing is, though, is that nitrogen also wants to be a stable 
um, charged molecule as well. So if it were to lose one of those um, hydrogens, it would end up being quite unstable, not very pretty, something that it doesn't want to do. Uh, but if it gained a hydrogen, now it's actually kind of balancing out the situation where it's like, although my charge is positive overall, I was able to now get another hydrogen bond, which is really what it likes. With carbon, those hydrogens are nonpolar bonds, each one of those bonds. Carbon does not play with these hydrogens. These hydrogens don't, they're not active. They don't have any polarity or, um, you know, um, I'm trying to look for the right word here, charge or net charge or anything, or the where things are pulled together. Attraction forces, exactly. The only force really is just the Lewis dispersion force, and like so, those things don't get pulled to anything, they don't interact with anything. Hence, why these hydrogens here they do not function as part of the whole acid base giving away thing. But these hydrogens have the potential to, okay? These hydrogens here have the potential to interact. So, once you get actually to this part, any of these hydrogens could leave. Any of them are fair game for it to go back to its base form. Because right now, this here, what we have, is its conjugate acid, okay? But any of these hydrogens here could detach and put it back to its conjugate base form, okay? So with that, this is correct. And let's move on to the next question, question 15. Um,